Thank you for the message. Praise God, praise God. Good morning, everyone. We are from students. Students. Good morning, everyone. We are students from the College of Education, major in English. So we are now currently taking campus journalism as part of our requirements. So today we will be interviewing one of the speakers and one of the students, uh, which is Miss Angeline McManlock from the College of Education, major in mathematics. We will also be interviewing Sir Thaddeo Steen from the College of CST. He is the speaker, the first speaker for this week of prayer. So, in the first time, I'd like to ask you, Thaddeo, what do you think or how was the preparation for this event? How do you prepare before uh, coming here this morning? Well, definitely a lot of prayer. Um, originally, when they first gave me the topic, I was a bit unsure on what to share. So, I spent the first week basically just praying, doing my devotional, and hope, you know, hoping that God would give me, impress a topic on me. And yeah, eventually um, I came to this topic that I shared about you know, being alone and about coming to God. And um, yeah, it's just a lot of prayer and a lot of meditation on God's Word. Yeah. Thank you so much. This is really an interesting topic. Thank you for sharing it to all of us. What about our student? Hi, Miss Angeline. What is your reaction about today's topic, the first session topic? Uh, honestly, I'm so blessed. Thank you po, for that wonderful message and I praise God for knowing and understanding the topic this morning. This helps me to realize and appreciate how, how did life come to be. And it seems like facing trials is just normal. We just need to face it with God alone. Yes, indeed. Uh, we really need God uh, along, despite of the struggles that we are facing in every day, in every circumstances in our lives. Thank you so much for sharing your uh, experiences. And the second question is, what problem do you think this topic, creation, can help to solve in the student's life? So, uh, the topic, creation, or understanding who created gives us the reminder that God is the one in charge of life. And I, for us students, um, going through life, or anybody actually, going through life is always very hard. There's always hardships in life. So understanding that God is in charge of life, God created life, therefore coming to God would help us get through life. And whatever we face in life, God is powerful enough to help us get through it and He's available for us 24-7 to help us get through whatever we face in life. So the problem that it would help students is that to remind them that God is there for them. I think that's one thing that students tend to forget is that God is always there for them and they can come to God no matter how big the problem they have or no matter how small the problem they have. Yeah. Thank you so much. And this is indeed an interesting topic to start this week of prayer with that uh, interesting message. So for our student, so I would like to ask this question, Miss Angeline. So as a future teacher and as a student, what are the values or what are the relevant uh, information that you've got uh, from this message? How will you apply this in the future or as a student right now? You know what? Um, the values that I have learned this morning with, with such a blessing is that um, I, I realize that God is one prayer away and he's ever present in our life and as brother says that he's the expert of life so we need the total surrender unto him and especially as an educator I will be able to teach my students in the future to to humble to God to pray unto God and to seek him first before anything else above all yes thank you miss angeline Thank you so much for your time and for, for the last question before we end this short interview, I'd like to ask you, what do you expect students to do? What action do you expect students to have now after listening to your topic, after, after listening to what creation is all about? So I think I shared this in uh, my appeal. The one thing, I don't expect much just from the first session, but I do hope 
that every student here will take the message to heart. They will not forget about it. They will remember that they are not alone, first of all, but they can also bring their problems to God. And I, I, I expect, I hope, students will bring their problems to God no matter how small. I, I feel the pro many problem many students sorry many students feel like oh my problem is so small I don't you know God won't care about it but that's not true so I hope that they will bring even the smallest of problems to God and I hope that will be the result uh, thank you so much for the last question for our student so I would like to ask this last question Miss Angeline what is your message to those students who are still struggling or doubting to attend week of prayer so my beloved course students I am um, encouraging you to attend our week of prayer because it will tell us that in every struggle, it's normal. You can struggle along the way. But you know what? When you are struggling, it is also an advantage for us to face the future and the persecution in the future that we are uh, about to face. So be strong and have a prayer for life because you are with Jesus. So thank you for your time, uh, for your, uh, thank you so much and thank you for listening. God bless.